Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. Today I'm going to show you how to use Awesome Miner and Mining Pool Hub to mine Zencash. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to do is download a copy of Awesome Miner. Okay, I'll put a link in the description. Come over here and download the Awesome Miner installer. That's the full program. And that will give you up to two miners that you can program. All right, download this and install it. The next thing you need to do is sign up on miningpoolhub.com. So when you sign up with your new account, it'll ask you for a username. Just make sure you pick something that's easy to remember because we'll type it in later on when we configure Awesome Miner. All right, after you install Awesome Miner, you'll get the Add New Miner Wizard. So just go ahead and click on Next. And you have four choices here. Uh, we're gonna pick Managed Profit Miner. And the reason we do that is because depending on what type of graphics card you had, the Managed Profit Miner will actually pick the right software to use for your graphics card all right so it's a little bit more custom tailored all right i'll show you how that works let's click on next all right we'll give the miner a name i'm just going to call it miner one and it says here miner host you can leave that as local and right here where it says profit switching profile this is where you get to pick what type of gpu you have okay so if you're using amd leave it on amd if you're using nvidia go ahead and make that change all right this computer has an AMD card in it. Click on next and that's it. We're ready to finish. Okay, so there's our new miner one. Now what we have to do is add Zencash to our coin pool. All right, so to make a new pool, it's very simple. Just click on the new pool button up here and let's give it a name on Zencash dash MPH. All right, now it's asking for a server URL. And this is where you would have to make a determination as to whether or not you want to do this. Um, the software that's used to mine this for you actually charges you a fee. And what it does is like for a minute or two every hour, it will actually mine for the developer. All right. And that's how they collect a little bit in order to continue producing software and making updates and stuff. Now, if you use um, secure connection, the, the fee is only like 1%. But if you don't use secure connection, then it's 2%, all right? So you have to make that determination. I would always recommend using secure connection if it's at all possible, but not all graphics cards like to use the secure connection. So you have to kind of uh, play with it yourself and just do a little trial and error. So I'm gonna set this up for secure connection because I like the idea of paying a little bit less fee, but I, I also prefer the encryption, okay? So all you have to do here to get that secure connection is type in SSL colon slash slash, okay? And then we're gonna put the server address. All right, but we have to get that from Mining Pool Hub. So over here on Mining Pool Hub's webpage, you'll see on the left-hand side, we got all the coins, and at the bottom is Zencash. So we'll just go ahead and click that link. And right on this front page here, we have our server settings, okay? And it gives you three regions, US, Europe, and Asia. So what we wanna do is select the entire address here, including the port number, all right? And just use whichever region is closer to you, okay? And click on copy, and we're gonna paste that address right here, all right? So now we've got it there with the SSL, the secure socket layer protocol in front of it, and then the whole address. All right, the next step is to put in your worker name. This is where you're gonna use your Mining Pool Hub username, okay? So here's where you type that in. Uh, mine is Goose Tech, all right? And keep in mind this is case sensitive, okay? So make sure you get everything just right. And then put a dot, and then we're gonna name this computer, which I'm just gonna call it Miner1. There we go. Now for worker password, that's always X, very simple. And then optional settings, you're gonna to wanna to configure your coin, all right? So go ahead and click the down arrow. And we'll scroll up here to Zencash. There we go. All right, and the reason we choose this is because that's how Awesome Miner knows what coin you're mining so that it can figure out accurate profit results. All right, so when it puts out, here's your, here's your profit per day, um, it'll be as accurate as it can be based on what to mine.com figures. All right, so we're gonna click on OK. Now all that's left to do is to tell Awesome Miner which coin we wanna mine. All right, so we're gonna go over here to Options and then go over here to profit switching. And, <clears throat> excuse me, at the top here, you see it says enabled manage profit switching. So you wanna put a check here. All right, and make sure nothing else is checked. 
except for custom pools. You put a check there. All right, and then if this is your first time, it's likely that the pool we just created will be right here. If not, then click the down arrow and just select Zencash. All right, see, I have a lot of pools in here because I've configured a, a lot of different coins. Um, so I can mine any single one of these at any given time. Uh, but here's the one we just added. I'm going to click on that. And now what this is going to do is tell Awesome Miner to mine Zencash only. There's no profit switching. It's whatever we put this to, that, that's the only coin it'll mine. All right, so click on OK. Almost done. All right, the next step is to go over here to Mining Pool Hub again. All right, and set up your wallet. All right, so underneath my account, we'll click on Wallet. All right, and then here's your online wallet. So whatever Zencash you mine will go right here. Under where it says transfer, it says normal wallet. This number here is going to grow the more you bring in, okay? Um, but the only thing is this is an online wallet, so it's not the most secure place to keep all of your Zencash. So um, I'm not going to tell you what type of wallet to download, but I would always recommend getting an external wallet. Um, you can go right to Zencash's website and download their wallet. It's actually a really nice app. It has messaging built into it and stuff so that you can send secure messages to people. So I think it's a really cool tech. Um, download that wallet and once you do and install it, you'll have your wallet address in there. So you just wanna click your wallet address, copy it, all right, and paste it right up here where it says payment address because Mining Pool Hub will automatically withdraw and send to your wallet. Um, but it's set, you got to set the threshold. So whatever this automatic payout threshold is, you put that to wherever you want it. So if you said, okay, um, I want to set that to 0 0.05 Zen. So whenever it hits that number, that's when it will automatically send out to your external wallet, okay? Um, to confirm this, you just put in your four-digit PIN and click Update Account, all right? And then from that moment on, any Zen that you mine, once it hits that number, it'll be automatically sent to your external wallet. So that's one of the best ways to go. All right, so let's m minimize this and uh, yeah, we're good to go now, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Start. And you'll see here, this popped up Claymore Zcash AMD GPU miner. And the reason it did that was because we set up the profit profile for AMD. And this way it knows what software it should be using for this equipment, which is great. All right, it's just, it says that it sends the card. All right, very good. So. Our readout here is saying that it's connected. It's using SSL slash TLS, which is the secure connection. Excellent. All right, got a few readouts here. Let's take a look over at Awesome Miner, showing us our hash rate as well as our profit per day, about $2.15. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, God bless.